I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I often hear the uh, uh, reference made to the Christmas Eve uh, wreck of the Southern Pacific. Uh, I was coming down Gary Avenue from home. I lived at 570 North Gary at that time. And I heard the noise, the rush of this train, and it's very noticeable. And I stopped at Monterey Street and looked west. And as I did, the, all I saw was a, just a blurred green sign go by. And shortly after that, I heard the terrific crash. I hurried and I walked through the depot ground. Mr. Nance of the, uh, of the uh, Pacific Hotel and Mr. Keller from the, uh, from the uh, Keller Hotel on South uh, Thomas Street were standing there and they were wondering what had delayed the train. I said, gentlemen, that train is not going to arrive here. And by that time, the people began to run from all directions. And they uh, sounded the... Uh, alarm the fire bell for emergency and uh, I walked west on the, on the Southern Pacific Road to the well it was right on, at really right at Cypress Street where the track where the uh, train was wrecked the uh, there's two cars the two uh, rear cars were uh, left the track well I think the rear car was still on the track but the left car the next one was uh, headed shortly down Cypress Street the baggage car was thrown clear from the the uh, track, clear over to the main track, and was laying on its side. The uh, smoking car and the accommodation smoking the smoker and the baggage car were uh, uh, alongside between the two, and the engine was reversed entirely, turned around, and uh, it was becoming dark. I know we walked in there, and somebody said, "Look out." And uh, I just in time, because somebody had just walked out of a great big ta a pool of uh, oil that drained from the from the engine. But it was a it was a terrible thing. It, uh, it just uh, it just seemed to throw cars every way. I recall the baggage man at that time. He, he's, I can't remember his second name. His first name they called him Doc. Doc was in the baggage car, but the baggage car evidently was so full that he was protected, and he went that entire distance in that baggage car and was not injured at all to speak of and the engineer and the fireman the engineer wasn't killed outright i think the fireman's killed at the time the engineer was uh uh died that night they had a, they had an emergency hospital they took him at the fire hall the upstairs of the fire hall and then the old pacific hotel the number of the uh, injured was taken there we had no hospital at that time and they had to care for them wherever they could uh, that is a wreck that uh, the only, uh, I recall, other than the only passenger killed in that wreck was the mother of Mr. Paul Connor. She was killed in, at that time. I know the uh, baseball team, uh, called, I, I can't remember, I think it was San Bernardino. They, they were played under the San Bernardino team and they had uh, returned, they were returning on that uh, train from their successful game in Los Angeles that day. Billy Thurman, Monroe Thurman were on that train. Monroe Thurman got an injured arm. He had a, I remember he carried it until his death, a, a crooked wrist. He had his arm broken in, in, the, uh, in the accident. And I, I think that uh, covers pretty much my, uh, my recollection of that, that uh, wreck, but it was a terrific wreck. About one o'clock uh, the following morning, Christmas morning, there's quite a quite a, a shake, and uh, these uh, injured being on the top floor of the uh, old uh, Pacific Hotel, uh, they they disturbed them quite a bit at that time. 